Well, hello everyone, Rick Bray with the Plick team at Broom Tioga Boses. And recently we've been updating devices so that they run Windows 11. And you might be wondering, okay, how do I manage my screen? How do I deal with if I have a second monitor attached? And well, let's take a look at that. There are a bunch of different ways to do it, and chances are it's gonna be really similar to how you did it back in Windows 10. But here's how I like to do it. On my desktop, I like to right click anywhere on my desktop, and the option that will come up is the option for display setting. I think you can do this in personalized too, but this is the way I like to do it. Display settings. When I click on that, I will immediately see the options. It takes me right to the display part of the systems. Um, I can extend the displays. I can click there, and that will also give me the ability to duplicate these displays, which is uh, you know often called mirrored. It's where they are the same. Or I can only show on screen one or only show on screen two. So there's some options there. Stick around, I'll show you another one in just a second. And if you're not sure which computer screen is one and two, you can click the identify button and it'll put a little one on your screen that's number one and a little two on the screen where it's number two. If you need, you can drag the respective screens around and place them in a different location, maybe top and bottom or, or however it may be to fit your setup. That way, when you run your cursor from one screen to the other in that extended mode, it works the way you expect it to. Now, the other option that we like to do on the fly, we like to show people, is on your keyboard, if you press down the key, the Windows key, which is on the left-hand side of your keyboard, right between the Function and Alt key, it's the little like two by two grid, the Windows icon. Uh, if you click that button and the P key simultaneously, as in for projector, you can project to, if it wants to be the PC screen only, if you wanna duplicate the displays or mirror them, or if you wanna extend. So that's a quick way that you can go on the fly without having to right click and select things, is just Windows P. But there you go, two different ways to adjust your screen settings if you have more than one monitor attached to your Windows 11 device. And chances are, it's really, really similar to how you did it in Windows 10.